Hi everyone, my name is Aubrey Pieper um, and I'm one of the owners of Oliver and Abigail. Um, I'm Oliver's mom and we have been getting a lot of questions about the snuggle safe car seat poncho that we have in our shop. So we're going to do a little video tutorial on how we use it and what makes it so great. So this is the poncho. It has a hood. The outer layer is a really durable um, ponty knit. The inner layer is a really snuggly warm flannel. And on the side, you will see that it has a set of snaps um, that can be closed when the poncho is not being used in the car. And there is one on each side. So I am going to stick this on Oliver and we are going to show you how we use it. All right. Let's stick him in the poncho. So all you have to do, it's got a pretty decent sized head opening. Is you just gotta slide it over their head. It has a hood. And we've given it a funnel neck to try to keep their necks a little warmer. And right now I'm going to leave it unsnapped and we're going to take him over to the car and stick him in his car seat. All right. Try to get a better angle for you guys. He's not happy about this. Slide down. All right, you gotta cooperate for this one, dude. You just drape the poncho up the back of the seat. Make sure the hood is up. And then don't let the poncho be where you put the buckle. You have to put the restraint under the poncho. But see, there's no restriction of the poncho at all when you stick the harness over their arms. Get it really good and tight. Oh. Right. Push it up. And see, the poncho, sorry bud, does not restrict the harness being secure to their chest at all. And then all you have to do is you drape it over them and it acts as a blanket to keep them warm while you're driving without having the bulkiness of the car seat restricting the effectiveness of the harness if you, God forbid, were in a car accident. So then when it's time to get out of the car, as he wants to do, undo the harness, pull them out. And it just folds down and if you are just going into a store and you're gonna put them in a shopping cart or you're gonna stick them in the stroller or you're just gonna carry them you can just easily snap the sides with one I can get it one snap and it has the other snap on the other side that you can do it to as well um, but we're also going to show you how easy it is to take and use this in a baby carrier as well What I hadn't really anticipated these being um, super wonderful for was um, baby wearing. Um, I had been wearing him since he was born and I first started in a wrap carrier and I, this, I don't see how this would work in a wrap carrier, but it works really, really well if you use like a structured carrier like an Ergo or a Tula or a Lilla Baby. And we're gonna show you how to use it. And I will just snap my Ergo. For this, I just make sure to put this outside the ergo, and I just pull this down the front. It drapes really easy down the front. And what I was not liking about coats was that I kept having to pull it down, and it kept raising up in the front. So like his whole belly would just hang out of the front of a. There's Daisy in the background. His whole belly was just hanging out, and I never felt like he was warm. And I just snap it and I drape it around and you can find the snaps again and just snap the side closed 
and it works just as if you had another blanket around you. So if they're warm on the inside, if you're doing something like going to the wild lights at the zoo and you need that extra layer, theirs works great. And then you can use the hood and you are ready to go. And there's absolutely no bulk to this. It makes it so wonderful. And you don't have to wear a big bulky overcoat that's oversized. And so it's big on your arms just to keep and wrap around them. This is absolutely been fantastic for baby wearing as well. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully this will help you understand the Snuggle Safe car seat poncho and how it works a little better. Thanks guys.